You can get Football Manager 2023 absolutely free to keep forever through Amazon Prime Gaming. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in this video. Welcome to Sort It Out SI and today I'm going to show you how you can get FM23 for free for the whole month of September and you can get to keep it forever. The deal ends on the 11th of October and you just have to follow the steps in this video download the game and you get to keep it forever. So we have a written guide on this, the step-by-step -step guide. I'll put that link in the description down below, but this is what you need to do. So in that link and in the description, there will be a link to Prime Gaming. And here is what it looks like when you go there. If you're not signed in, it'll just look like this. You can look through game perks, downloadable games, uh, Twitch channel subs, more from Prime, everything like that. All you need to do is sign in. If you don't have a Prime account or an Amazon account, you don't have Prime, you can try Prime and get a free 30-day trial. Make sure you want, if you don't want to keep it, you just cancel it. You can cancel it instantly and it will last for 30 days and you'll be able to download FM23 and anything else that's on Prime Gaming in that month before the subscription expires. So what you do need to do is you do need to sign in if you do have Prime, and I'm gonna sign in now by hitting the sign in button, and I'll be back in a second when I've done so. So once you have signed in, as you can see there, I'm signed in, hello, I'm Andrew, uh, and this is what the page looks like. You can see in the middle here that Football Manager is on the page, and you can click it, and there's a button that says, included with Prime, get game, and this is there for the next month basically click get game you could also follow the link that's also in the description which take you to the same page and it says you have for the next 33 days this game is included free with prime and once you get the game and install well you don't even install it you just get the game you've got it for free forever you don't need to do anything else you don't lose it on the 11th of october it stays there forever it's yours it's like basically you've bought it for zero pounds what are you waiting for when well when you get here click get game and you just need to link your Amazon account to your Epic Games account. If you don't have an Epic Games account, you just create one and we follow. We'll have a look what happens here when you click link account. And it will take you through to this page here on Epic Games where you can sign into your account or create a new one. The page will look a little bit strange because you can sign in with Epic Games with Facebook, Google, Xbox Live, Steam, lots of different options here. If you don't have an account, you can just click sign up. I do have an account. It's linked to my Steam. So again, I'm going to click the sign in with Steam button and it will magically appear because I don't want to show you my password. Okay, so once you have signed in to your Epic Games account via Steam like I have, you are asked to enter your date of birth. Uh, so I'm going to do the same here. You don't really need to see my date of birth. I'm old. Uh, but there you go. Happy birthday me in October. Continue. Right, so we'll sign in. Email address is needed. Again, we'll do this in a second. Okay, so what we're doing is we're linking Prime Gaming with our Epic Games account. Again, you just want to allow them. This means they can talk to each other and you can get your free game from Amazon Prime Gaming onto your Epic Games account. Once that's happened, we'll have to download the Epic Games, Epic Games Launcher and just launch the game. So there we go. Your Epic Game Store account is linked and, and that's that's it. We've, we've got collected on the 8th of September today. It's sent to our Epic Games Store library, and you can see here I've, I've got my email address. You don't need to see that. But that's my name. Don't wear it out. We'll go over to Epic Games now and download the Epic Games Launcher, which is right here. Um, we do need to sign in again, probably, but we'll download the Epic Games Launcher and sign in when we get there. And it's, in, oh, it's downloading the installer now. Uh, once the installer has downloaded, you just install it like you would any other software. Log in once you get there and we'll go from there. Okay, the download has finished. We've got the Epic installer right here and we just double click install from our downloads page and we'll install the Epic Games launcher. Once that's happened, it should appear in your Epic Games and ready for you to install the game and play. Uh, we'll do it right this second. We'll, we'll go through the whole process uh, and we'll see what it looks like when we're ready. I mean, it's obvious what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like Football Manager 2023, but still. Okay, so after a long time installing the Epic Games Launcher, it looks like it's finally there. It, it should hopefully be there, and once we get into it, you'll probably have to sign in again. We'll see in a second. Uh, but yes, yes, there we go. We need to sign in again. So I need to sign in again through Steam. I'll do it the same as I've just done, uh, and we'll be back in a second. Hey, there we go. We are preparing the Epic Games Launcher. We are now actually signed in. Some lots of stuff has just popped up the side. We'll get to that in a second. We can close them. 
There we go. Close all of those. Why hasn't it taken... Why is it taking so long? Right, here we go. We are in. We need to see if we go into our library whether the FM23 has appeared or not because it should hopefully have done so. We'll make this full screen. We'll not be heathens. Um, and we'll have a look. So I'm logged in. There you go. There's lots of free stuff here. It's a bit slow and laggy, but we'll get on. Rocket League is free apparently as well at the moment through Epic Games. We shall see um, where FM23 is and whether it appears on my Epic Games library. Fingers crossed it does. Hopefully this has worked nice and simple and it does nice, nice and simple for you as well. Let's have a look. There's FM23. Excellent. What's this one here? This is FM23 as well. Why is there two versions? Let's have a quick look. Don't know. There's three versions. Interesting. Interesting indeed. FM20 is there as well. I got that for free on, on uh, Epic. Okay, so we just click on here and we click install and we get, there we go, through Epic Games, FM23, auto update, create short. Yes, we'll just install the game. Excellent, fantastic. Uh, you have to go through this waiver here. Uh, it's basically saying you've bought the game through Epic, just like you do with Steam. Uh, Red and Gate, but obviously you paid nothing for it because you got it free through uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, there we go, the Epic Games launcher needs some... Uh, there we go, it's, it's installing now, hopefully. Hopefully it's installing. I hope I've not just clicked install FM20 because that would be slightly pointless because I've already played FM20. This video is about FM23. Right, we'll let it do that in the background. Hopefully it's doing something. And we shall see. There we go. It's initializing now. I'm going to just go and get a snack because this might take a while. Loading. And there we have it. So what's taken about 5 or 10 seconds on the video has actually taken the best part of 20 minutes. But we're now able to launch Football Manager 2023. And it's installed just like it would be if you bought it through Steam. It would be on your Steam page. If you bought it through Epic, it would be here as well. You can just click launch. And now I've got two versions of FM23 on my computer. So who knows how that will conflict. But we can click launch. Like you can just see there, it's thinking about It's running. It's, it's playing Football Manager now. It's going to be there in a second. It'll be on your screen in a second. We'll do some more time-lapsing if you want. And then when we get in, I'll have a chat to you again. Okay, so there we go. Football Manager 2023 is installed and loaded. Now, if you have got a Steam version of the game, it will pick up the same files that you've got in your document. So when you install graphics or where you save games, they will all be in there in the same folder because Epic connects to the same folder structure as Steam. So if you want to install graphics, all of the guides that we've done before on the channel, which I'll link to on a playlist at the end as well, they'll still work in exactly the same way. If you've done a save game on a version of FM23 through Steam, you will be able to play it through this Epic version, but why you've got both, I'm not really sure. But it's there as an option. Uh, the only thing that will be different is the name fix of so the folder structure for Epic Games will be slightly different to install the name fix. Uh, but that is covered in the written guide on the website. You can find a link to that uh, in the description as well of this video. Um, but that's it, basically. You can now go into game and play Football Manager 2023 for absolutely no cost whatsoever. Just make sure you download before the end of October the 11th, I believe, is the date. So the offer ends on Prime on the 11th of October. Make sure you download or click at least Get Game before that date and then download at your leisure through Epic. If you're struggling for save ideas, we've got a massive playlist right coming up on screen in a second of all the league guides we've done. We've done over a dozen league guides now for FM23. They've all got five, or at least five, save ideas for each nation. Uh, if you need help with installing graphics, again, that playlist will be here in a second as well. Please watch those videos, watch the league guide, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it around, and play FM23 for absolutely free. I'll catch you on the next one.